Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aries. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I'll be using my guardian angels messages tarot. To clarify, I'll be using my angel wisdoms tarot deck. So let's see what message or messages we have for you, Aries. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Welcome to everyone who stops by. Thank you so very much for spending your time with me. My darlings, please take what resonates and leave what does not, okay? Oh, to all my subscribers, thank you. Thank you so very much for the support. Thank you for returning. Thank you for your beautiful comments to everyone, everyone. Thank you. I am catching up with them. You know, I like to read every comment. So Aries, let's see what message or messages we have for you. So Aries, this is for you. You got the page of water. Not too long ago, you were very intuitive. You got the six of earth, feeling balanced financially. The six of air is relief, hope. Things were calming down in your environment. The three of fire, goals. Things are expanding for you. Or for some of you, you might be going on a trip. We got the eight of fire, whatever it is, something's coming fast. Eight of fire. Then the nine of earth, babies. The nine of earth. That's your hard work paying off now. You starting to see the fruits of your labor. You got the seven of fire, whatever challenges you're facing, babies, you are above them. Stop worrying, okay? You got the king of water. Well, you might be above the challenges where this, this energy is concerned. This now could be you feeling balanced emotionally. Or this could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio in your environment. However it resonates. You got the king of water. And you have the empress. This is about abundance. Oy. Time to get into action. Put your butt in action. It's time for you to act. There is abundance on its way or is it already here all right so let's see oh my cards are a little messed up here let's see what's going on here oh my cards are really messed up here Oy. okay we'll keep them the way they are i don't read my cards in reverse just so you know i don't know what happened so let's see the first card that came out was the page of water On top of the page of water, we have the page of earth, we have the two of water, and we have the four of earth. So it seems like you got some kind of good news about your career. It brought things together for you. There was some kind of forgiveness. Something happened where there was some forgiveness that took place. Or maybe you were exchanging gifts with someone who you were very attracted to. And we got the four earth. The four earth is about managing your resources wisely. Right now, you're probably, or in the past, you were just probably getting the things you needed and not the things you wanted. You were being, you know, you were watching the way you were spending. But you did receive good news in regards to finances. So you got the page of earth, you got the two of water, and you got the four of earth. Then you got the six of earth. Good news brought balance. You're above your challenges. We got the seven of fire. We got the three of air. And we got the 
Nine air, why are you worried? What are you worrying about? What are you fearful about? What were you fearful about? Was it that broken heart? Was somebody else involved? Whatever it was, you stood up for yourself. You got the seven of fire, the three of air, and the nine of air. Remember, when you think like the worst or when you expect the worst to happen, the worst can happen and will happen, you know? I mean, imagine that, just giving out just all these negative thoughts and, and vibrations 24-7, you know? Then what is going to come back? Negative things. So if we start breathing and relaxing and learning about meditation and loving ourselves and healing, beautiful things are going to happen. Okay? But right now, you're above, in the past, you were above your challenges. Where your broken heart was concerned, there was a broken heart and you, there was someone else involved. And you already know that. And it was like your worst, your worst nightmare coming through. Your worst nightmare coming true. That's what happened. Then the six of air, things started calming down. You got the two of air. You had to make a decision in order for things to calm down. You got the two of air. You got the six. You have the six of air and you have the three of fire. You're going to have abundance from past choices, okay? You just need to be patient right now. You might have a lot of fearful thoughts. You're going to have to make a decision or you had to make a decision not too long ago. <coughs> Excuse me. We got the two air. This was a pretty complex decision. Now, I don't know if you moved away from a situation or if the situation resolved itself after you made that decision. Whatever it was... You're going to have abundance, okay? You just need to be patient before you decide to do, before you decide what's next, okay? You got the two of air, the six of air, and you got the three of wands. And you got the three of wands down here as well. But just be patient. Things are expanding, okay? You got the king of earth. This could have to do with earth energy. Uh, Virgo. Uh, Capricorn. I don't know why this does this to me. Or a Taurus. We got the nine of earth and we got the seven of earth. Now, this could be some energy from the past that's still current, you know. Um, whatever it is, you and this energy, y'all are enjoying life's luxuries. You're seeing the, the, the fruits of your labor. You know, I mean, it's bountiful. It's bountiful here with this energy. You got the king of earth. You got the nine of earth and you got the seven of earth. It could also mean that you're extremely magical right now where finances are concerned. So then you got the eight of fire on top of the eight of fire. You got the sun, you got the five of earth, and you got the page of air. Remember, life is a little up and down. It's how you handle those down times or the dark times, okay? The lessons that you learn from them. Because once you learn that lesson from that situation, it should not occur again because you learn. And you'll be able to see when, it's, when, when that situation starts coming towards you, you'll be able to go the other way. But anyway, so there's something coming really fast, some happiness. But this happiness is going to be short-lived, okay? But it's only going to be temporary. This, this happiness is going to be temporary, yes, short-lived. Um, because you're going to get some communication, you're going to receive some kind of communication. Um, it's things you don't really want to hear, but it's things that you need to hear. Okay, it's better to know now what's going on than to continue living a lie. So you have the sun, you have the five of earth, and you have the page of air above the eight of fire. So somebody is about to tell you something pretty fast, and it's going to take away your happy, your happy feeling that you have. Now, I don't know if it has something to do with money, because we got the nine of earth here. On top of the nine of earth, we got the eight of water. We got the ego, ego card, which is the equivalent to the devil card. And we got the ten of fire. So, I don't know. Um, something to do with finances here is, is unhealthy. You're holding on to it very tight. Okay, or you might be having a little problem with gambling. All 
right? Um, whatever it is, it's causing a burden. It's causing you to feel pretty heavy, you know? So you need to really examine that part of you. Okay, darlings? There's no judgment here, all right? Just spend some time with you and try to figure out why. Okay? It could be something that happened so long ago. But you can take care of anything. Trust and believe. You are magical. You got the nine, you got the eight of cups. The eight of water. Eight of cups, eight of water. Same, same. <sighs> um, you have a feeling, you have a need to move on from this healthy, un, this unhealthy thing in your environment. Now, the unhealthy thing, it could be gambling, it could be drinking, it could be overeating, it could be whatever it is that's unhealthy. But I have a feeling it has something to do with money. And you're in your head quite a bit about it. So there's something that happened here. But if you look at this ego card, this devil card, right? This bad card, this unhealthy card, you will see that the chains are being broken. So you can overcome anything at all. You just have to believe in yourself. You got the eight of water, you got the ego, and you got the ten of fire. See? See those chains being broken? And the ten of fire. That's because right now things seem a little heavy. You know, you might be working too hard or doing, you know, unhealthy things too hard. Whatever it is, though, darlings, you are going to be above your challenges. You got the strength card. You got the eight of air. You're going to start seeing things clearly. And you got the six of fire. You're going to successfully overcome whatever it is that's going on. Whatever that's going, whatever is going on, you will successfully overcome. Remember this, though. It's totally up to you, okay, babies? It's totally up to you. It's totally up to you how long a negative situation lasts. Some situations you need to plan a little longer and it takes some time, you know? But you got a lot of inner strength, okay, Aries? You got the strength card. You got the eight of air. Now, the eight of air is usually about situations that tie you up, you know, and, and you can't get out of. Whatever that situation is, I'm going to say right here, this is you getting out of that situation. You got the strength card, you got the eight of air, and you got the six of fire. You will be successful. And if you look at this picture carefully, she's taking off the blindfold, right? So whatever that situation is here, you're starting to see everything clearly, and you found your inner strength. And you will successfully overcome whatever it is that's going on. And remember, this is above the seven of fire now. And the seven of fire is you being above your challenges. Facing your challenges. Head on, no matter what comes your way. You're going to deal with it. What else are you going to do? You know, don't stop fighting. You stand up. You keep standing in there. Stop saying, oh, I'm hanging in here. You ain't hanging nowhere. Okay? You standing. And you standing firm. My feet are a little shaky, but you firm. All right. So, then the king of water. Now, the king of water, I don't know <coughs> if this is an energy, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. But we got the four of fire. We got the ten of air. And we got the queen of air. So, the four of fire... Um, it's about happiness in your community. You're feeling really good. Now, it could be that there was an ending where this water energy was concerned. Okay, And this, this ending brought you some relief. You know, you were pretty happy. You started clearing this crap away real fast. Now, when I say clearing it away, you started... The, the, this energy is a thing of the past for you. You're not worried about it anymore. It's over. Whatever it was, it's over. Okay? You got the four of fire, which is about happiness. You're happy that this ending came. You got the ten of swords. All right? It might feel a little sad, maybe for some, but for most of you, you happy is over. You got the queen of air. Now, the queen of air could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius in your environment. Okay? Or this could be you clearing away things that no longer serve you. Letting go of things. People, places, and things. You got the four of fire. You got the ten of air. 
and you get the Queen of Air. And then there's the Abundance card. The Abundance is about creation. It's about abundance, prosperity in all areas, okay? So you got the Knight of Earth, you got the Star card, and you got the Three of Earth. So the Knight of Earth, you need to pay attention to the details, okay? Where the finances are concerned. Pay attention. Plan things carefully before you take action. I know it feels like things are taking forever, but they are coming, okay? You got the star card. The star card is about not giving up, keeping your eye on the prize. Even if you stumble, okay, along the way towards your goals and your dreams, you get back up and you keep on going, okay, babies? Don't you quit. You got the Knight of Earth, you got the Star, and you got the Three of Earth. The universe building something where your finances are concerned, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. And I'm going to leave this reading right here. I love you guys dearly. You got the Knight of Earth, you got the Star, and you got the Three of Earth. I love you. I want you to believe in yourself. Okay? Everybody has the moments where they feel shaken up, okay? Even I go through those moments. The thing about it is bringing ourselves back in. Try to learn about you, self. Start loving self. Learn about meditation. Learn about getting all your answers from within you. You're a magical being, you know, darlings. You are magic. You are so full of magic. It's unbelievable. You see, but we were just fooled to believe that we were no longer magic. So you get out of those dark times and know that good times are on the way, okay? If you stumble, you get back up. Don't you give up. I love you guys. You take care, and we definitely will chat soon.